so today uh, we are going to discuss about non destructive testing methods of concrete so these are also very important testing methods apart from whatever we have discussed up till now that is compression test tensile strength test and flexural test, uh, test okay for concrete but that are all destructive testing in which we have to make the specimen we have to cast the cube cylinder beam and you have to test under compression testing machine or utm and then you have to find out the strength of concrete but similar way if you want to find out the strength of concrete but without destruction then it is called as non destructive testing method so here in this figure you can see this equipment which is called as rebound hammer and uh, this method uh, that is uh, ultrasonic pulse uh, velocity method so this method uh, you can apply on the existing structure okay so in situ measurement of the strength can be done with the help of such non destructive testing method okay so first try to understand what is the meaning of non destructive testing method so as i have told you here the specimen are not loaded to failure koi load apply nahi karna hai failure tak jana nahi hai but here the attempt is made to measure some other properties of the concrete concrete ki dusri bhi properties hoti hai usko hum correlate karte hain and that correlation is established and that will give the strength durability and elastic parameter of concrete so some other properties they are correlated with the strength durability or elastic properties of the concrete so such other properties are hardness hardness check karenge okay so against uh, uh, if uh, you are pressing concrete against uh, that uh, uh, whatever uh, that uh, 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 against uh, its uh, scratching or indent, uh, indentation kitna uska uh, resistance hai that we are checking to check the hardness then resistance to penetration kuch aisa kuch dalenge usme penetrate karenge with the help of some projectiles so how much penetration takes place in uh, concrete then rebound number so there is a one instrument which is called as the rebound hammer कितना रिबाउंड होता है व्हेन यू आर प्रेसिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर हैमर दैट परप्लंजर अगेंस्ट द कंक्रीट कितना रिबाउंड होता है सो इफ द स्ट्रेंथ इज मोर मोर रिबाउंड विल टेक प्लेस सो दैट विल बी कोरिलेटेड विद द स्ट्रेंथ एस्पेक्ट ऑफ कंक्रीट देन रिसोनेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी और एबिलिटी टू अलाउ द अल्ट्रासोनिक पल्स वेलोसिटी सो इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली जनरेटेड और आइदर हैमर से जो हमने साउंड वेव्स क्रिएट किए हैं हाउ दे विल प्रोपोगेट ओके ना हाउ मच टाइम विल बी टेकन बाय देम देन इलेक्ट्रिकल प्रॉपर्टीज some electrical properties that can be correlated also ability to absorb scatter or transmit the x rays and gamma rays that can be also done and its response to uh, nuclear activation or acoustic uh, emission sound related emission so all these are also used to estimate its moisture content density thickness and its uh, cement content so basically you can say uh, for correlating we are finding other properties and then we are correlating it and normally uh, here uh, the digital kind of instruments are there so they are relatively very simple to perform but its analysis and interpretation of the results are very uh, difficult so special knowledge is required to analyze the hardened properties of the concrete simple hai bahut hi simple hai just you have to take the instrument and you have to find out some digital values and that is to be correlated with the strength but it's uh, analysis and interpretation the special knowledge is required okay so this is the complete list of uh, different non destructive testing method which are widely used okay so first is surface hardness test as the uh, this uh, name suggest hum hardness property check kar rahe hain so these are of indentation type so kitna indentation hota hai that we are going to check with the help of certain equipment and such equipments are uh, williams testing crystal and impact hammer तो पिस्टल से हम कुछ कार्टरीज उसके ऊपर प्रॉप डालेंगे एंड वी विल ट्राई टू चेक कितना इंडेंटेशन होता है एंड दैट इज टू बी कोरिलेटेड विद द स्ट्रेंथ एस्पेक्ट नेक्स्ट इज रिबाउंड सो व्हाट एवर आई हैव मार्क्ड हियर विद दिस प्रॉपर कलर इट इज व्हाट एवर व्हिच इज इंक्लूडेड इन योर सिलेबस सो दैट वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल ओके सो रिबाउंड टेस्ट सो रिबाउंड हैमर टेस्ट मेजर्स द इलास्टिक रिबाउंड ऑफ कंक्रीट ओके एंड प्राइमरीली यूज्ड टू एस्टीमेट द कंक्रीट स्ट्रेंथ and also used for the comparative investigation low concrete low rebound number check karo kisme zyada aata hai kisme kam aata hai so compare kar sakte hain strength of the concrete with the help of this rebound hammer test then penetration and pull out technique so as the name suggest kitna penetration hota hai that we are checking pull out matlab uh, to pull something from the concrete kitna force lagta hai so these both are the resistance of concrete and it is used to strength estimation but they can be also used for the comparative analysis comparative studies ke do concrete ka kaisa performance hai so here also uh, many uh, 
equipments like Cindy hammer, split pins, Windsor probe, and pull out method. These are used. So penetration, how much penetration is there, and pull करने में particular equipment how much time लगता है. Accordingly, uh, the, it is correlated with the strength aspect. Next is dynamic or vibration method. As the name suggests, to push vibrations करने ठीक है. So this includes the resonant frequency. Basically, this is related to जो uh, भी oscillation होता है in the cement at its normal frequency. That is the resonant frequency and mechanical sonic and ultrasonic pulse velocity method. So this ultrasonic pulse velocity method we are going to discuss in detail. So that is also correlated with durability and uniformity of concrete, and we can estimate the strength and elastic properties of concrete. So this ultrasonic pulse velocity method is very important from your exam point of view, as well as this rebound hammer test. So these two are very important tests. So that we will discuss in detail. Other methods are combined method. You can combine two methods like ultrasonic pulse velocity and rebound hammer test, radioactive and nuclear method. So X-ray, gamma rays penetration that is to be correlated with density and thickness of concrete. Magnetic and electrical methods. So magnetic method are primarily concerned with the determining the power of reinforcement. The reinforcement that is steel. So using such magnetic method, you can find out power. Then electrical method uh, that includes the uh, microwave absorption techniques and that is used to measure the moisture content and thickness of the concrete. Also acoustic emission that is sound related emission technique. So it is used to study the initiation and growth of cracks. So there are varieties of uh, properties of the concrete that are to be correlated with the desirable properties of concrete. And out of that, four major techniques that are included in your syllabus, we are going to discuss in detail. So first method that is called as Smith's rebound hammer. So basically, uh, the person who has developed. Uh, that's why the name is given like uh, Smith's rebound hammer. So it was developed in 1948, and which is a commonly adopted equipment for measuring the surface hardness. So to, you want to measure the surface hardness. So basically, here just try to understand in this figure itself. So it is consisting of this is the housing in which uh, the the whole assembly. This is a tubular housing in which the whole assembly is made. So that is consisting of a spring control hammer. So here you can see this is the Spring. So uh, this is the assembly, which is the spring control assembly, and uh, uh, that is consisting or that is attached with the mass. Okay. So particular mass is attached with this spring. Okay. And here it is at the uh, front end. It is having a plunger. So what you have to do? You have to just take this uh, uh, particular rebound hammer and uh, uh, existing. You have to have a column. Hai, okay. Concrete. Ka. So you have to just go near by that using this particular rebound hammer, okay? And you have to just uh, uh, press this plunger. So this uh, you have to just press this plunger against the concrete. So the plunger is pressed against the surface of the concrete. Now what will happen? Jitna strong concrete hoga, utna uska rebound vapas hoga. So that will come in backward direction. That is called as the rebound. Okay, so when you are pressing this uh, particular plunger against the surface of concrete, the mass rebound from the plunger. So, pura mass ho kana ko rebound hoga in backward direction. Now there is one uh, rider that is provided, and this is the scale of measurement to just measure the numbers. Kitna rebound hua. Okay, so the hammer impacts against the concrete, and the spring control mass rebound. So, this spring control mass na, wo, that will move in backward direction. And taking this rider, this rider here, that will be taken in that reverse direction along the guide scale. So this guide scale it is consisting of numbers, rebound number. Kitna rebound hua? Jitna jada rebound hua, matlab itna stronger concrete hai. ठीक है? And uh, by pushing the button, so here there is one uh, button is there. So when you push that button, then uh, whatever reading that will be suppose here the reading is coming. Okay? So uh, that reading uh, it will be held there only. And you can take that reading. So that is the rebound number. Okay. So basically, what is that rebound number? It is the distance traveled by the mass, whatever this mass, in backward direction when you are pressing this plunger against the concrete, and which is called as rebound number. Okay. And it is indicated by the rider. So along with this mass, this rider will move, and that will give you some reading of rebound number. So each hammer, जो भी हमारे पास different hammers are there, so accordingly they are uh, having different performance and they need their calibrations. So uh, each and every hammer, uh, uh, they uh, vary in their performance 
means in giving the uh, numbers so that they are to be properly calibrated when you are using uh, for the concrete and generally uh, this concrete which is made up of the aggregate for the specific source so for each uh, rebound hammer the number may be very uh, slightly okay so proper calibration is essential and whenever we are using some digital instrument calibration is the first requirement okay so here uh, this is the actual figure of uh, this uh, rebound hammer so this is the concrete cube okay so by keeping this uh, vertically down just we are pressing this plunger and then uh, you can uh, here there is a scale so you can read directly so here this is the principle against this rebound hammer test so this plunger which is pressed against this particular uh, concrete and when uh, this hammer is released this hammer rebounds and that rebound number can be measured with the help of this scale so that number more the number more is your compressive strength you can correlate like that so there are three ways in which uh, you can test your concrete so the uh, uh, suppose this is your cube okay so ye aapka cube hai and if you want to test it okay so this test can be con conducted uh, horizontally horizontally you can press it horizontally usko rakh ke press kar sakte hain vertically upwards vertically upward means niche se vertically upwards niche se press kar do ya fir vertically downward or otherwise you can test it at certain angle also so there are varieties of ways in which you are keeping this hammer and pressing the against the concrete so if any angle you are keeping that rebound number will be different for the same concrete so it is very essential that uh, so many studies are to be taken and in which position you have to take that will cha change your reading okay so it, it, it requires separate uh, calibration or correction chart because in each cases it is giving different number so here uh, just try to understand this graph Uh, on y axis it is having a compressive strength and here the rebound number is given so general relationship if you want to establish you can say that uh, if your rebound number is increasing uh, your uh, compressive strength is increasing that is the general relationship that you can establish uh, very clear from this uh, particular graph but how this uh, position uh, affect that uh, particular compressive strength this <coughs> first graph that is hammer vertically down so ye or ye this is hammer vertically down so that is giving maximum reading okay if we, uh, you are keeping this way hammer keeping vertically down so it is giving maximum reading in both the cases if it is a wet concrete or if it is a dry concrete and the least reading which is observed when you are keeping this position hammer kept vertically up agar is position mein rakhte hain to sabse kam reading aa raha hai in both the position wet concrete or dry concrete and intermediate readings are obtained if you are keeping your particular hammer in horizontal direction so this way uh, the separate calibration and separate uh, uh, particular correction chart that are essential but in general if you want to establish the relationship uh, you can say that uh, if rebound number is more then more uh, uh, strength or the uh, more uh, that uh, bounce back of the hammer mass that will take place if uh, compressive strength is higher and that will be correlated with the compressive strength more the rebound number more is the compressive strength and hammer vertically down it gives the maximum compressive strength for both wet concrete as well as dry concrete so these are the readings which are taken uh, from the researchers jo bhi researcher research karte hain on the field from that such kind of graphs can be prepared and we can establish the relationship so this uh, rebound number and strength of the concrete in investigation shows that there is a good general correlation between compressive strength of concrete and rebound number and that we have seen from this graph itself but there is a wide degree of disagreement amongst various researcher to be researchers hain regarding the accuracy of the estimation of the strength from rebound reading is called ekdam final link in sakte because this variation of the strength of properly calibrated hammer is also coming in the range of 15 to 20 percent so agar properly calibrated hammer bhi aapne use kiya to 15 se 20 percent ka variation strength mein aata hai okay so for comparative analysis it is good but if exactly you cannot say ki bhai this is the compressive strength you can establish the good relationship okay so the relationship between flexural strength and the rebound number is found to be similar to be those obtained from the compressive strength means flexural strength may be similar kind of trend is 
ऑब्जर्व बट देर आर सर्टन स्केटर ऑफ रिजल्ट आर ग्रेटर मीन्स ज्यादा वेरिएशन आता है इन फ्लेक्सर स्ट्रेंथ टेस्ट सो एज पर द स्टडी बाय द रिसर्चर इट इज अल्टीमेटली कंक्लूडेड दैट with this uh, smith's rebound hammer is very useful in checking the uniformity of concrete and comparing one concrete against another okay you can use it for comparison bhai isme zyada strength hai isme kam hai but it can only be used as a rough indication of concrete strength in absolute term okay as i told you that variation is large so for comparison purpose this is the best tool you can say so these are the limitations of this rebound hammer method Okay, so it is quick and inexpensive means of checking the uniformity of concrete, but it has many limitations. So this smoothness of the surface under the test it will be affect your result. If smoothness proper नहीं हुआ, so rebound number अलग अलग आ सकता है. Shape, size, and rigidity of the specimen is also affecting its rebound number. Then age of the specimen, कौन सी age पे कर रहे हो? Surface and internal moisture conditions. So wet and dry concrete, you have seen the result. It is coming different. then type of coarse aggregate type of cement mold which which mold you are using and carbonation of the concrete surface so these are all the uh, particular parameters which can affect its result but though you can say that uh, after uh, so many uh, limitation it is uh, good for having the comparative study between the two compre uh, compression strength of two concrete now next method and that is what we are going to discuss that is uh, pulse velocity method method so that is basically dynamic or vibration method okay so this is very important method for testing concrete strength as well as other property so here what is the fundamental principle behind this dynamic or vibration method so they are based on the velocity of sound through a material so through your material you have to transfer the sound and you have to measure the velocity so this velocity of sound through the specimen and is resonant frequency basically resonant frequency means oscillation of a system at its natural or unforced resonance jo bhi hamara variation aata hai when sound travel you know that amplitude etc variation that would take place so at normal condition whatever that variation that is observed that is called as a resonant frequency and its relationship of this two to the modulus of elasticity of the material and modulus of elasticity pata chal jata hai that can be correlated with the strength of the concrete so generally uh, it is uh, assumed that the solid medium which is considered to be homogeneous isotropic and perfectly elastic okay so uh, the relationship uh, which i derived from uh, this uh, homo ke uh, material homogeneous hona chahiye isotropic hona chahiye perfectly elastic but we are applying this to the heterogeneous material because कॉन्क्रीट इज अट्रोजीनियस वो सेम नहीं है हर जगह हर जगह उसकी प्रॉपर्टीज भी सेम नहीं है और परफेक्टली इलास्टिक भी नहीं है दो वी आर यूजिंग दिस मैथड एंड यू कैन से ऑल दिस एंटिटी मैथड्स दे आर को रिलेशन ओके इट्स नॉट द एग्जैक्ट वन इट्स अ को रिलेशन सो जनरली दिस वेलोसिटी ऑफ साउंड इन द सॉलिड इट कैन बी मेजर्ड देर आर टू वेज ऑफ मेजरमेंट कैसे मेजर करना है सो बाई डिटर्मिनिंग द रिजोनट फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ द स्पेसिमेन एक तो रिजोनट फ्रिक्वेंसी से डिटर्मिन कर सकते हैं सेकेंड बाई रिकॉर्डिंग द time of travel of short pulses of vibrations so you have to generate the vibrations in the concrete and whatever vibrations that are passing through the sample and usko kitna time lagta hai ek jagah se dusri jagah jaane mein wo pulse ko that we are going to measure so uh, there are two methods in this resonant method jo resonance method hai aur dusra hai pulse velocity technique so this method we are going to discuss in detail so here there is a chart which gives uh, all these dynamic methods so first is resonant frequency method okay in that there are three types of uh, application transverse torsional and longitudinal uh, resonance and the equipment uses sonometer so this is generally useful for the laboratory testing only but whatever we are going to discuss here in detail that is pulse propagation method okay so we have to generate some sound waves and wo travel karne mein kitna time lagta hai that we are going to discuss about okay so that is uh, there are two methods here mechanical sonic pulse velocity and ultrasonic pulse velocity method and here in the mechanical method either by single blow hammer ko agar aap single blow karte ho the pulses are developed vibrations is developed so single blow karte ho ya fir repetitive blow so depending upon that mechanically we are generating the waves okay and second is ultrasonic pulse velocity method so here uh, some electronically we are generating the pulses and there are three uh, equipments used sonoscope ultrasonic concrete tester and pundit 
So these are three uh, method or the three equipments that are used for ultrasonic pulse velocity. Means pulse generation through electronically uh, uh, generated pulses. You can say in the ultrasonic method, electronically we are generating the pulses. So here we are going to discuss this pulse velocity method. So just as I have said, mechanical sonic pulse velocity is, or then ultrasonic pulse velocity method. है. So this is. Very popular nowadays in all over the world. So in mechanical sonic pulse velocity method, it in, in uh, so both the method time of travel uh, of the longitudinal direction में जो waves move कर रहे हैं, so that we have to measure कि कितना time लगता है to move that uh, pulses from one to other point. Okay, so either it can be generated by single impact hammer blow, एक hammer blow से आप single impact से जो भी travel कर रहा है, उसका time of travel measure करो, या repetitively you are applying the blow. So now in this pulse velocity, ultrasonic pulse velocity method, which is popular and uh, which is uh, important from the exam point of view also. So this ultrasonic pulse velocity method, it involves the measurement of time of travel. If I have developed a pulse here, so here, this is, suppose this is your uh, long uh, slab or that beam. Okay. So here, if you are uh, uh, applying certain uh, uh, to uh, electronically generating their pulses, so how much time of travel? Here, from here to here, how much time does it take from here to here? Okay. So that you have to measure. So it involves the measurement of time of travel of electronically generated mechanical pulses. So by some means, you have to develop that. Okay, electronically you have to generate the pulses and you have to pass it through the concrete. Concrete ke through pass karna. Okay. When these mechanical pulses are applied to solid mass, the three different kinds of waves are generated. Okay. So jab humne generate kar liye hamare pulses, so three types ke waves generate hote hain. First is longitudinal waves, so longitudinal direction mein chalte hain. Next is shear waves that are transverse waves, and next is surface waves. So normally uh, all these three waves that are traveling at different speeds, their speed is different. Hota hai. So longitudinal or compressional waves, they are the fastest one. And they are uh, traveling about twice as fast as other two types. Okay. And the shear or transverse waves, they are not uh, uh, so much fast. So itne fast nahi hota hai. And the surface waves, they are the slowest one. So. Uh, which uh, method you are adopting that is also very important which waves are generated accordingly your result may vary so here uh, this is the instrument basically that is called as pulse velocity tester okay so these pulses are generated either by hammer blows or by the use of electroacoustic transducer so here just try to understand there are two transducers one and two okay so this electroacoustic transducers transducers are preferred because they provide better control on the type and frequency generated. So we are pulse generate कर रहे हैं, उसका proper type generate कर सकते हैं, उसकी frequency भी आप control कर सकते हैं. So this instrument is called as sonoscope, and this ultrasonic pulse velocity method consists of involve measurement of the time of travel of an acoustic pulse passing through the concrete. जो भी हमने pulse develop किया, so कितना सब, so here in this particular figure, this concrete specimen is shown. Here there is a transmitting transducer so that will uh, generate the pulse and that will transmit it so there, there is a pulse generator so that will uh, transmit transmit this and this pulse will be transmitted and here there is a receiving transducer so one is transmitting the pulse generate karta hai, usko transmit karta hai, that is called as a transmitting trans transducer so that will these pulses will travel through the concrete specimen and then it is received by the receiver Receiving transducer. So here, this is the actual instrument. Ek hai, suppose this is your uh, transmitting. So electronic uh, waves are generated that will be transmitted, and here it will travel through this concrete specimen. It will be received here. Okay. So this is your receiving amplifier and receiving transducer. And based on this, you can measure the time of travel. Okay. By yahan se yahan pochne mein uska kitno kitna time laga hai. Okay. So basically, this pulse generator circuit consists of electronic circuit for generating the pulses and transducer for transforming this electronic pulses into mechanical energy. And the vibration frequency is the range of 15 to uh, 50 kilohertz. So time of travel from here to here, how much time is taken? That can be calculated. Okay. So uh, this path length. So uh, uh, between the Transducer divided by the time of travel gives the average velocity of pulse propagation. So average velocity of pulse propagation कैसे मिलेगा? Path length. 
नाउ यू आर नोइंग कि भाई दिस इज द लेंथ पाथ लेंथ कितना है भाई यहां से यहां तक तो हमको साइज तो पता ही होता है डायमेंशन ऑफ आवर कंक्रीट मेंबर फॉर व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू चेक इट ओके सो दैट पाथ लेंथ इज ऑलरेडी नोन टू यू एंड टाइम ऑफ ट्रैवल विल बी गिवन बाय दिस ओके सो मेजरिंग द टाइम ऑफ ट्रैवल सो फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर हाउ मच टाइम इज रिक्वायर्ड सो वेलोसिटी कैन बी ऑब्टेंड सो दैट इज एवरेज वेलोसिटी ऑफ प्रोपगेशन वुड बी पाथ लेंथ दैट इज नोन टू यू and time of travel that can be also known to you from the instrument and you can easily have the average velocity of propagation that is given by instrument okay so this average velocity of propagation that will be correlated with the strength aspect okay so this uh, uh pundit that is called as the portable ultrasonic non destructive digital indicating tester so nowadays this is widely used okay so it is a fully uh, automated and uh, portable digital instrument and which is having around 3 kg weight okay so there are three ways in which uh, you can measure the pulse velocity in this particular uh, with the uh, instrument so here there is a transducer okay so uh, here there is a measuring device so you can have direct measurement so first electronic uh, pulses are generated electronically it will pass through this concrete specimen that will be received by this receiving transducer and that will generate your result okay so there are three ways of which uh, there are measuring the pulse velocity direct transmission so here you can see if you are keeping your transducer receiving and transmitting transducer cross probing this is also called as the cross probing kyunki dono opposite direction mein rakh rahe hain so when you are keeping both the transducer in the opposite direction it is called as direct transmission from here to here next is uh, semi direct or indirect transmission so here uh, one uh, transmitting transducer you are keeping here receiving transducer you are keeping here so this is semi direct transmission and third is surface transmission so here uh, directly uh, over the surface you are keeping okay so this is called as a uh, surface transmission so these are the three ways in which you can keep your particular uh, transducer receiving and transmitting and you can measure the uh, time of travel and ultimately the pulse velocity uh, that is path length divided by time of travel okay so th there are various factors which affect the measurement of pulse velocity so because this is a digital instrument pulse velocity is very important so you should know which are the factors that are uh, affecting this measurement so first smoothness of contact surface under test so if uh, you are not having proper smooth surface there are different results that are possible okay so good acoustical contact between surface of concrete and each transducer is very much important so normal testing mein humko itna problem nahi hota because we are having the casting surface and get, that can provide the good contact but if it is uh, not uh, rough surface or if it is not uh, it's a, a, a for cylinder it is desirable to smooth the surface by use of certain uh, uh, carborundum uh, stone that is a special stone just say aap usko rub karke you can make it smooth so that your transducer can be kept tightly against the concrete surface and in addition you can use a certain thin film soap jelly wagera aap laga ke usko smooth kar sakte hain the smoothness of the surface and the effective contact between the with otherwise if there is no perfect contact then uh, that pulse velocity will not travel properly and you will not get a proper result so that smoothness is very essential then influence of path length of pulse velocity so this uh, concrete as you know it is a heterogeneous material so uh, it is necessary that you should have proper path length thoda distance hona chahiye okay and uh, in the field work it does not uh, have any difficulty because uh, our uh, uh, structural member concrete member hota hai where the path length may vary from suppose you are taking certain column so it may be around 300 mm 30 cm jitna width milta hai and uh, in your gravity dam it may be around 23 m that may be the path length okay so proper path length should be there but in laboratory jab hum small specimen lete hain so uh, that may have uh, affect the it may affect the pulse velocity reading so proper distance between the two ends it is very essential then temperature so there is a effect of temperature also so if your surrounding ambient temperature between 5 to 30 degree it has no significant uh, change in the pulse velocity but temperature between 30 to 60 degree there is a 5% reduction in the pulse velocity 5% kam ho jati hai and below freezing agar zero se kam degree temperature hai so it result in increase in pulse velocity means you can say if temperature down hai to it is increasing the pulse velocity 
and at around 4 degree the increase up to 7.4 percent in the pulse velocity is obtained okay and uh, these are some of the correction percentage that can be applied to have the temperature correction for each temperature we are having certain percentage correction that can be applied okay in both air dry concrete and water saturated concrete next is moisture condition is also affecting the pulse velocity so if you are uh, <clears throat> concrete it is uh, having uh, more moisture content agar moisture jyada hai so it will increase the pulse velocity but uh, this uh, particular effect it is more pronounced in low strength concrete low strength concrete hoga to uspe jyada effect hoga as compared to high strength concrete so it is considered that the pulse velocity of the saturated concrete may be around 2% higher than the dry concrete similar concrete se banaya lekin dry hai ek wet hai to wet mein ज्यादा पल्स प्रोपोकेशन होगा सो यू नो दैट कि वेट कॉन्क्रीट वेट कॉन्क्रीट दैट इज गिविंग मोर स्ट्रेंथ एज कम्पेयर टू ड्राई कॉन्क्रीट ऑल्सो देर इज ए प्रोनाउंस इफेक्ट ऑफ रेनफोर्सिंग स्टील अगर स्टील रेनफोर्समेंट है सो उसका पल्स प्रोपोकेशन अलग होगा एज कम्पेयर टू योर कॉन्क्रीट सो दिस पल्स वेलोसिटी मेजरमेंट आर ऑल्सो अफेक्टेड बाई द प्रेजेंस ऑफ योर रेनफोर्सिंग स्टील बार्स सो बिकॉज दिस पल्स वेलोसिटी इन स्टील इज 1.22, 1.9 times the velocity in plain concrete. So whenever such uh, reinforcing bars are there, uh, so it will give you higher result, okay? And it will not give a true velocity of the concrete. So as far as possible, uh, you to uh, which is desirable to choose the pulse path in which there is a no influence of uh, reinforcement steel. But it's not possible because uh, no, most of the structure we are having that are the RCC structure. so some correction uh, can be applied okay and uh, that depends upon the proximity of the pulse path to the reinforcing steel aapka reinforcing steel se aapka jo particular path hai pulse ka kitna nazdik hai uske hisab se you can apply the correction so if your uh, axis of reinforcing bar is perpendicular ye aapka bar hai uske perpendicular aap measure kar rahe ho so there is a small effect बट इफ योर पाथ लेंथ यही पे चल रहा है आपका एनफोर्समेंट बाद भी उसके पैरल है तो देर इज अ कंटिन्यूस इफेक्ट इफेक्ट आता ही रहेगा ओके सो दिस करेक्शन फैक्टर दैट मे बी वन टू फोर परसेंट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द प्रॉक्सिमिटी एंड इट्स क्वालिटी ऑफ सराउंडिंग कॉन्क्रीट बट एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट पैरल अगर हो गया आपका एक बार जा रहा है उसी के पैरल आपका प्रोपोगेशन जा रहा है सो दस इन्फ्लुएंस कैन नॉट बी अवॉइडेड इजिली बिकॉज इट इज पैरली मूविंग आपका एनफोर्समेंट बात भी पूरा पैरल है एंड प्रोपोगेशन भी उसके पैरल चल रहा है सो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अवॉइड सच कंडीशन ओके सो इट इज बिकमिंग जनरली इम्पॉसिबल इफ यू आर हैविंग टू वेयर एनफोर्समेंट दोनों डायरेक्शन में आपके पास एनफोर्समेंट है सो इट इट बिकम्स ऑलमोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल टू मेक एनी रिलायबल करेक्शन ओके सो दैट ऑल्सो यू हैव टू चेक इफ फॉर आर सी सी मेंबर इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर दिस मैथड दैट करेक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट then accuracy of measurement now each uh, instrument they are having different accuracy of measuring time of travel so if you are just checking ultrasonic concrete tester uh, its accuracy may be 0.1 microseconds while in case of uh, sonoscope and uh, this condit it is around 0.5 microsecond so generally this uh, ultrasonic uh, concrete tester that is generally useful in a uh, laboratory studies and sonoscope and this uh, condit they can be useful for both the purpose okay then uh, you should know about the applications with all factors that we have discussed now where it is applied so there are many applications of this pulse velocity uh, meter so that is establishing the uniformity of concrete so generally i have told you that ultrasonic concrete tester laboratory may use hota hai sonoscope and condit that can be applied to know the uniformity of the concrete in the lab as well as field study also you can establish the acceptance criteria now here the acceptance criteria means it is related to this conditions so as you know pulse velocity is higher it is having good compressive strength okay so high pulse velocity reading in the concrete they are indicative of concrete of good quality so around in the range of 4575 it is considered to be excellent uh, in this range it is good then questionable poor and very poor so as the pulse velocity decreasing and uh, around 2135 meter per second it is poor and around 4575 it is considered to be excellent so more the pulse velocity reading more is the uh, good quality more uh, chances of the good quality of so concrete so these are the charts given by this lesley and chisman 
okay and here uh, uh, based on some experiments this is for the direct transmission jaise hum cross probing karte upar niche okay so here this is the range of velocity that was observed here you can say excellent range it is about 4.5 and below 3 km per second here the range is in km per second which is a doubtful concrete so just by knowing and this is for the surface transmission when you are keeping in on the surface so in both the cases you can say velocity more than more or the good quality of the concrete so here also there are various graphs which are available so pulse velocity in all the cases for all the cement and uh, aggregate ratio as the pulse velocity increases more is the compressive strength so that is the general relationship uh, also it is used to uh, determine the setting characteristics of concrete so kitne rate se wo settle hota hai concrete that can be also uh, be used uh, this sony scope that is widely used for knowing that then uh, studies on the durability of concrete so this freeze and thaw uh, action or the aggressive environment mein agar concrete hai sulfate attack acid attack so this technique is also used to find out the uh, or to uh, assess the damage so freeze and thaw as you know uh, this uh, whenever uh, this water which is filled in uh, certain cracks uh, uh, during uh, freezing uh, below 0 degree jab ho jata hai to it will freeze the ice and as it's uh, particular uh, during uh, freezing operation that expansion will take place and that will break this rock that is freeze and thaw oxen that you are knowing so related to durability studies also uh, this pulse velocity method is used it is also used to find out the uh, modulus of elasticity okay so attempts are made also uh, you can have the estimation of the strength of concrete so this compressive strength and flexural strength they are generally correlated uh, for this uh, and here this compressive strength you can say pulse velocity it is increasing okay so this shows a good relationship between compressive strength and pulse velocity okay so estimation of the strength indirectly you can get it also there is a major application in which you can uh, detect and measure the depth of crack so here just uh, try to understand in this figure here we are having crack okay if there is no crack just as assume then this uh, particular wave it will travel from here to here okay so this path length is less okay so generally if this uh, uh, crack it is a uh, very appreciable width and uh, con uh, considerable depth perpendicular to the test path no signal will be received okay itna bada crack hai pura ka pura aapka aisa crack hai theek hai so yahan se jo bhi pulse trans transmit hua that will not be received at all at the transducer but if it is still in contact and this uh, depth is there so what will happen it will increase the path length how it will move from here to here yahan pe contact chala gaya here it will move again like this again like this again like this and again like this so it will have a longer path length so if you are getting at some point the longer path length as compared to other one then you can say that at some places the crack would be there okay so if such kind of cracks are there the distance traveled would be not a straight line but it would be a longer path length so this longer path length you can estimate the crack depth also so this measurement of crack depth it is also a very uh, important application of this particular uh, pulse velocity so just by having uh, more path length you can estimate that there is some crack inside also you can measure the deterioration of the concrete due to fire exposure so for that uh, some experiment was done uh, to just check that ke fire mein kitna deterioration hota hai concrete ka so that was done with the help of prism of size 80 by 102 by 406 mm which was exposed to fire for 1 hour and temperature range from 100 to 1000 degree and after exposure of the specimen to such a high degree temperature it was removed from furnace and allowed to cool down so room temperature pe cool down kiya and pulse velocity measure kiya okay so it was observed that uh, the percentage loss in the velocity pulse velocity it was very close to percentage loss in flexural strength of test of the prism prism ko flexor ke liye bhi test kiya pulse velocity bhi check kiya jitna flexural strength kam hua utna uska particular <coughs> pulse velocity bhi kam hua so these are some of the values of this uh, different aggregates against the pulse velocity versus days that is given okay and here you can see lower the um, particular water cement ratio we are having higher pulse velocity 
so many uh, such type of studies that has shown that higher the pulse velocity higher is your uh, particular compressive strength also you can determine the time of removal of the foam work okay by measuring the pulse velocity cup reform work remove karna chahiye also the uh, thickness of the concrete pavement so there are varieties of applications that are possible using pulse velocity method now other technique okay so that is called as the pull out technique means pull karna hai something we have to pull from the concrete so here in this pull out test we have to measure the force required to pull out from a concrete a specially shaped rod so here in this figure you can uh, say that this is a, a rod okay that is having some enlarged section okay so that will be inserted in the concrete this is called as the pull out insert ye pura pull out insert hai jo aapne concrete mein dal ke rakha hai now you have to pull it so as if your concrete is uh, strong or compressive strength is higher more force will be required so more is the force required to pull out more stronger is the concrete so that is a very general conclusion that can be obtained so um, a ideal way to do this pull out test in the field is to incorporate the assemblies in the structure so pehle se hi aap is type ki assembly structure mein jab aap banate ho you can uh, assemble at the time of construction and uh, this can be pull out at particular time period jab bhi aapko janna hai strength you can pull it out and this force denotes the strength of concrete okay and on field if you want to do then uh, you have to cast the blocks of concrete and similarly such kind of pull out uh, assemblies can be inserted and at the moment you want to check its strength you can pull it out and uh, there is a correlation between compressive strength and pull out force jitna pull out force jyada hai utna hi aapka compressive strength jyada hai so that is a general relationship jitna force jyada lagega utna stronger aapka concrete hoga so this is nothing but it's called as a pull out test just you have to take out your pull out assembly from the concrete next is penetration technique so in the penetration technique abhi kuch penetrate karna hai concrete mein theek hai na instead of pulling out you are some adding something or you are uh, penetrating something so it is uh, basically the measurement of hardness by probing technique and that was first reported in 1954 so basically isme do technique use hoti hai first technique a hammer which is called as the simbi hammer that is used to uh, concrete mein perforate matlab khadda karne ke liye एंड जितना सपोज ये कॉन्क्रीट है उसमें आपने हेमर डाला और कितना खड्डा हुआ कितना पेनिट्रेट हुआ दैट विल बी को रिलेटेड टू द कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट सो सिंपली यू आर जस्ट मेकिंग सम परफोरेशन और सम होल इन द कॉन्क्रीट एंड डेप्थ ऑफ दैट बोर होल कितना डेप्थ हो पाए आपसे कंडीशन दैट इज टू बी को रिलेटेड विद द स्ट्रेंथ जितना कम खड्डा कर पाओगे जितना कम आपका होगा उतना आपका स्ट्रॉन्ग कॉन्क्रीट होगा इज द सिंपल मीनिंग इन सेकेंड टेक्निक प्रॉब्लिंग ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट वॉज अचीव बाई ब्लास्टिंग विद द स्पीड पिंस स्पीड पिंस डाल दें अंदर एंड उसका पेनिट्रेशन डेप्थ मेजर करते हैं ओके जितनी भी पिंस डाली उसका कितना डेप्थ अंदर पेनिट्रेट हुआ एंड अकॉर्डिंगली वी आर कोरिलेटिंग विद द कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ एंड दिस एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द टेस्ट वॉज फाउंड आउट टू बी अलाउंड प्लस और माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट बट इट इज ऑब्जर्व दैट दिस स्पीड पिंस एंड दिस सिंगी हेमर दे आर मोर अफेक्टेड बाई द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ फोर्स एग्रीगेट दैन द रिबाउंड हेमर टेस्ट सो दिस आर द पेनिट्रेशन टेक्निक then now one more technique that is called as the windsor probe so basically it is a gun so gun mein aapko ye uh, uh, just to penetrate uh, that particular uh, uh, gun ke andar jo probe hota hai that you want to insert in the concrete so that is useful in lab as well as in situ measurement and basically it's a hardness tester hardness checker then so it is consisting of the powder activated gun hardened alloy probe and loaded cartridge and you have to just measure the depth gauge hota hai ki kitna depth tak ho gaya that you have to measure ki jo bhi aapka probe hai kitna concrete ke andar chala gaya so depth gauge will measure how much depth of that probe is of, has gone in the concrete so this uh, probe is driven by the concrete by firing the fire karna hai aapko theek hai jaise gun se aap fire karte hain fire karo and that you have to measure the depth gauge so this poly, proper calibration of the depth gauge is very ex, uh, important because hum kya measure karte hain exposed length andar jo chala gaya wo uh, depth gauge se measure nahi karte hain uh, we have to measure the exposed length okay so exposed length aapka agar zyada hua aur uh, matlab penetration kam hua theek hai so that you have to measure and this uh, whatever techniques we have seen pull out technique ya fir means the probe that maybe not be really uh, considered as a non destructive because 
some uh, hole or some damage to the structure is taking place but only the thing we are calling it is a no ndt while because it, in situ you can measure on the existing structure as well and also uh, this probe method jo bhi hum probe insert karte hain in your concrete that is having good relationship between the compressive strength and exposed length so exposed length if it is more means less penetration penetration kam hua aur exposed length aapka zyada hai so this method is also used for determining the relative strength of concrete in the same structure or to find out the strength in different structures so for the comparison purpose also you can utilize so in all this technique whatever we have discussed they all are non destructive testing methods and that are widely used in a uh, particular uh, uh, field and most widely used methods uh, in most of the uh, colleges also uh, uh, they are having this uh, pulse velocity meter as well as rebound hammer uh, and also that is used in field also so with this i would like to stop the presentation thank you very much